Remote Capture is a way of capturing network traffic as well as any ETW provider from a remote target and present the data on your local capturing client. This capability to send remote traces is built into the OS starting with Windows 8.1 and Windows Server 2012 R2, so you don't need to install any software on the target. This is especially useful for collecting traces from machines like Nanoserver, which don't have a GUI. At a high level, we use Windows Remote Management to configure the capture. This step is how you configure IP address filtering and anything else that the provider exposes on the remote target. Next, Message Analyzer contacts the RPC Endpoint Mapper to negotiate a port for RPC. This is because RPC is used to transfer the data back from the target to your client machine running Message Analyzer. This information presented here can help you understand how to troubleshoot remote capture if it's not working. Now let's demonstrate the steps to do a remote capture. We choose New Session and then Live Trace. By default, the local host shows as the target computer. We'll choose Edit to change this and modify the machines we'll capture from. We can add multiple machines, but for this case, I'm just going to type over localhost and type in the name of my remote machine, Remote Nano. And this is a nano server, which I'm connecting to for this demonstration. We can leave username and password blank because nano server is in the same domain, which means my default credentials will work. Next, we need to choose which providers to capture. We can select a built-in scenario or manually add providers as we wish. In the list, there's a scenario called Remote Network Interfaces with Drop Information, which includes providers to help troubleshoot the remote connection, which can become a problem if the target machine has high traffic load. This particular scenario also configures the connection so that network messages are truncated, which is helpful to reduce load. But you can choose any scenario you want for remote capture. Now that we have a list of providers, we can configure them. But notice that when I select the Provider tab, it returns an error dialog along with some solutions. First, remember that this configuration requires WinRM, which might need to be turned on on either the client or server. This can be achieved by running the first command in an admin, command, or PowerShell prompt. Additionally, the capturing machine needs to add the remote target name to the list of trusted clients. Since I have never captured from this machine, this is most likely my problem. Also see that the dialog includes an option to enter multiple remote targets if you're capturing from more than one. I can copy the commands directly into the clipboard. So, now I've opened an admin PowerShell prompt and pasted the command to set the trusted hosts. I can also use this command to see which hosts are already set. Now that I've completed that step, I return to Message Analyzer. No need to exit Message Analyzer, just exit the dialog and re-enter by selecting Configure. Now I can open that Provider tab. At this point, it's contacting the target machine and pulling back the provider information. You can see how truncation is set to 128 for this scenario. If you used another scenario, like the local network interfaces, truncation will be set to zero. This is okay for some cases, but the less you transfer across from your target to the client, the better. The trusted host error will also occur when you attempt to start the capture. But now that we've updated the trusted host list, the capture will start. After a few seconds, you can watch the live messages as they return to your machine from the target and start troubleshooting your issue. To see where traffic came from, you can add a column called trace source. Because the trace is 
truncated, reassembly and higher level protocol parsing won't work properly. Also, process names don't work remotely as of yet. Road Capture is a great way to manage your network and troubleshoot problems from afar. Hopefully, you now have enough information to get started. Bye for now. Thank <music> you.